Hello everyone, this is your boy Decency Graphics at it. So today we are doing a very short tutorial on how to design a social media poster with Photoshop. So without wasting my time, let's dive into Photoshop. Okay, so we start off by creating our canvas, which we are going to use a size of 8x8. So I'm going to name it social media poster. Okay. So right off, I'll hit on the create. I'm going to get my canvas then I'll start off with a rectangle I'm going to draw a rectangle over here like this yes and I'm going to give it a green kind of color I'm going to drop the hexa code so that you can apply the same color if you want yeah so afterwards I'm going to bring in my phone mock-up I did and also if you want to learn how I did this mock-up you can leave a comment in the comment section and i'll do a personal tutorial on how you can do this type of mockups yeah so afterwards i'm going to bring in my very first text i jotted some points down here so i'm going to bring in my text to then i'll paste it i'll divide it into two like this hit on my move to then come and increase the spacing beneath yeah, I think this side is okay. You know, expand it a little using the transform that is a control T. Close it and drag it downwards over here. And let me scale it down a little. Yeah, we're good. So now I'll bring in the next text that is um, uh, I brand design and print using the same text too. I like design brand and print. Yeah, so. I'll bring it in here, paste it, then I'll change the font. I'm going to use a pop piece here. Uh, yeah, pop piece regular, I think. Then drag it down. It's quite okay. Let me bring it down a little. Okay. So we good. So now I'm going to bring in my next text. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Then drag it downwards then bring in services yeah okay yeah we're good so um, sorry this is quite okay let me drag it here then change the phone to like bold okay so we're good so uh <laughs> it's good it's good so i'm going to bring in the services i offer I let's set a little here for the flyer so i'll copy then i'll paste it okay so i don't want you to leave it like this i'll give it a two space using the tab it will make easier with the tab if you usually use your tab it goes faster and easier as compared to using the backspace sorry uh, yeah so i'm going to rearrange them to have nicely arranged Okay, okay. So we good. Good done. So I'll decrease the space into automatic and I'll change the form so I can make my regular. Okay, so I need to fix this. Good. So now we good. Um let me drag the services downwards. Yes, so matches perfectly. Then I'll underline it. Okay. Okay, a little bit. Okay, we're good now. So now um, I'm going for my rounded rectangle. I'll use the normal default pixel that is the 10 pixels. And I have this. Uh, then I'll change the color to white. Mm -hmm. So right afterwards, I'm going to bring in my social media icon. I'm using only phone. That is my phone, mm, phone, phone. Yes, phone number over. So I'll drag it and scale it down. So I can see spaces. Okay. And drag it here, here. Then um, bring my phone number. Loud enter the phone number. Then copy and paste. Yeah, it's fast. Okay. So turn off the underline because the old one. Now I'll change the font to um I'm going to use the Mexa. 
it's from the room. Change the color to ash. Yeah. I just need the color to have a clearer view. Yeah. I'm just creating a stylish rounded rectangle. So afterwards, I'll go to my layers and make a selection of the phone and the phone number. Then using Control Alt E, I'll get this merge layer. Control then get the selection then control shift i to invest and i'll use the layer max so as you can see now i have a stylish rounded rectangle so lastly i'm going to bring in that is a uh, contact to to i mean show this is my contact so let me drag it here yeah so i'll change it to contacts as here yeah, i copied it here yeah, yeah. let me paste it mm. and okay so I'm going to change it to all caps. Yeah, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be a C. Uh, C. Yeah. So, so I'll move down the line then all caps. Then uh, drag it down a little. Yeah. So we good and we have our work done. So what I'll do next is I'll group all my works with the exception of the mockup I brought. And make that one to a, a centered by going to layer then I'm going to align then I'll center it afterwards I'll select both and then drag it downwards to have a perfectly aligned work and as you can see we are done with our work and everything is perfect mm -hmm.